Hi, how are you today, folks? My name is Mike Paquette. I'm here at the Urban Grape, uh, just featuring some cocktails that are great for holiday times or just great year-round. Um, one of the things that I'm going to show you today is a punch-style cocktail. The recipe right now is going to be for a similar-style cocktail, just in a smaller proportion of it, just so I don't have to make a huge punch bowl. So today, the cocktail I'm going to do is featuring gin, which is Destor gin. Uh, it's a beautiful gin from Wisconsin, from the lake areas. I'm going to measure out an ounce of this. So one ounce is going to go into our dry shaker so that it doesn't melt the ice while we make it to not water down our cocktail. After you do the gin, we're going to move right along to Campari. Uh, bitter aperitif, uh, really nice bitter notes and it's going to really meld with the gin to kind of take those botanicals to a new level. So we're going to do an ounce of Campari as well. Right into our dry shaker. Um, from there, we're going to do a little bit of fresh pomegranate juice. You're going to want to use one ounce. And that's going to go right into our dry shaker as well. And last but not least, uh, this is a little bit of homemade vanilla cinnamon syrup. Uh, it's a very simple technique to use. It's one cup sugar, one cup water. You bring that to a boil and you want to add for that amount, you want to add one cinnamon stick and one vanilla bean pod. And just let that rest after it's done boiling. Turn it off, take it off the oven, just to let that vanilla and cinnamon kind of melt into it throughout the night and let it sit in your fridge to kind of cool down. Uh, what this is going to do is just add some beautiful, beautiful aromatic notes. And it's going to be a little sweeter because the two components, gin, very bitter, very aromatic. And Campari is a very dry, bitter kind of quality. Um, so with everything in our dry shaker, you want to add the ice. You want to shake this for about 10 to 15 seconds to not overwhelm the ingredients and to just let them mold into each other pretty easily and not get watered down. Um, I'm going to use a highball style cocktail glass um, with a stem, very used in cordials and aperitifs. Uh, but at home, if you'd like, you can use a martini glass or you can use a champagne flute and they will drink just as well out of each. So you want to just strain your ingredients into this. And this is going to fill up pretty much to the very top. This is a six ounce glass and if you just wash my accounts, Four ounces went in, so you've got room for just a bit, little more, like two and a half ounces. And you want to top that with just a sparkling champagne. And this is our cocktail today. Mm -hmm.